From salmon to scallops to shrimp, it's important to know where your seafood comes from. Just knowing that the seafood we're getting is, is fresh and coming from a country that has shipped it in a timely manner and markets it and is honest with their marketing practices. Those practices have come under fire around the globe with rampant fraud in all stages of the seafood industry. One study of retailers found seafood like grouper, cod, and snapper may be mislabeled up to 87% of the time, swapped out for less desirable and cheaper varieties. For example, only seven of the 120 samples of red snapper were actually red snapper. It's a very big problem, and the issue is that once it's prepared, there's really no way to to check it other than DNA testing, which a lot of companies are now doing. Vinnie Milborn hails from a long line of fishermen. The fishmonger at Greenpoint Fish and Lobster Company in Brooklyn specializes in local domestic and traceable species. His storefront acts as a fish market, raw bar, and restaurant. I have a network of small boat fishermen and wharves all over the country that are shipping to me daily. Uh, through the air or by truck, and we are processing every single day to bring in high quality fresh seafood. Vinny not only knows where his fish comes from, he can tell a tale about each one. This striped bass came from Massachusetts uh, from a fishing vessel named Stanley by a guy I know named Seth. That personal connection is rare. It's estimated more than 90% of the seafood consumed in the U.S. is imported and less than 1% is tested by the government. Larry Olmsted is the author of Real Food, Fake Food. He spent years researching the unregulated food industry, calling fish the most frequently faked food Americans buy. The inexpensive fish that are being substituted, a lot of them are farmed in Southeast Asia from places that have been shown over and over again to use bad practices, banned drugs, banned pesticides. The bottom line is a lot of the fish that we eat, we don't know where it came from. Was produced at all. So the author says the best course of action for consumers is to buy whole fish from a fish market. He reminds consumers to not be intimidated. You can always have them cut and clean the fish for you, like which is important. If you buy. Yeah, yeah, right, right. It that is, is huge. Bit. I've got a, one of my good friends, Steve Sclafani, owns Peter's Fish Market. And they, oh, which they, is delicious. Yeah, so all of New Jersey, a lot of New York City restaurants, and he tells me some of the things that go on uh, with some of I mean, But wasn't really... it amazing to hear the Brooklyn um, owner saying that he actually knew the fisherman's name? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Where he got the fish from so you can trust a lot of the folks out there so just be the way to tip the scales yeah for sure